Hey guys and welcome to our Azure Remote Workplace Holiday Session. My name is Alexander Galippo and I'm Cloud Solution Architect with um, Azure Germany. So in the next 20 minutes, um, we will have a look at our Azure Workplace Holidays. What is it? It sounds really nice. Uh, workplace and holidays is not something that you really <laughs> put together. Um, then we uh, will have a look how we will, uh, yeah, why we will use Windows Virtual Desktop for this. Uh, then we will have a look at the WVD features. Um, we'll show you our also one-click solutions where we can uh, really easy build this up and uh, really uh, easy deploy something uh, like uh, this Windows Virtual Desktop environment. And then uh, you will have uh, a little sneak peek to our Windows Virtual Desktop trial that's uh, released in some countries and will be released in more countries soon. So let's start with the remote workplace holidays. So working like this is not really um, the usual way we work every day. But uh, in, in, in times of Corona, um, we all experienced uh, how hard it can be to, to work at home if you have children um, or neighbors that are really loud. And uh, it's, it's really sometimes uh, wrapping your nerves and uh, it, it's really it's really hard to to work from home and to do really um, <laughs> yeah, to, to to really concentrate on your work so why not work from really nice places like your garden um, or if you don't have a garden then uh, maybe you go to the beach or into um, nice woods or maybe uh, to seaside and work from there the only thing you need is, is just your laptop um, and your smartphone um, for tethering and then you can sit on there and work from nearby everywhere you want. So um, how can we do that? Um, you need just um, a PC um, uh, with Windows, Mac OS, iOS or Android um, and a browser that supports HTML5 and uh, you can nearby access uh, this, this environment um, your your virtual environment uh, you, uh, from 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 every current browser. So, regardless if you work with a with a Mac, where you can use um, yeah every browser that, that, that works on Mac that, that supports HTML5, uh, an iPad, an iPhone, Android, or a browser, you can also use um, applications um, that that will connect to uh, your um, virtual environment. But uh, if you don't have access to the application, then you can use uh, um, just a normal web browser for that. So why do we do that with uh, Windows Virtual Desktop? So um, if you um, look what's, uh, what, what is needed for um, an, an RDS infrastructure that you build up by yourself, it's really hard to maintain everything and um, to uh, to build up uh, and and uh, yeah and, and, and keep it running. Uh, so there, there's a lot of things that you you need to host that you need to to really uh, install the updates, everything else. So uh, if you go to a cloud service, um, you have definitely less management overhead to 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 care about. Also, you um, benefit from the security of um, Azure Active Directory integration. So um, if you go with the Microsoft 365 suite, where you, uh, which, which comes with the, um, with the Windows uh, Enterprise that you, that you need for, um, for um, uh, virtualizing your uh, Microsoft uh, Windows 10 um, in the cloud uh, environment, then um, you, you also have um, a really big security suite that, that comes with Microsoft 365, like conditional access, like multi-factor authentication. So there's a lot of features that are also uh, included in this Microsoft 365 package that you, that you need to license um, the Windows Virtual Desktop environment. Also, you can make use of the Windows 10 multi-session that's um, exclusively um, allowed to run on Azure. Um, there's um, a lot of things that, that really um, make big sense um, um, in, in, in running this, this Microsoft uh, Windows Virtual Desktop um, experience like uh, because it, it separates the operation system, um, the user data and applications from your local hardware. 
So um, there's a separation of the compute environment from local devices, and that, that's really come in, come in handy uh, when you um, lose your um, you lose your computer or you damage your computer or you simply uh, run out of battery or something else. Then you can just switch to another device and uh, use the browser and continue working with this 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 one. So Microsoft um, bought a company like FS Logix that separates user data from the, the local hardware um, and attaches that um, as um, um, a virtual hard disk. And uh, so you, you just keep everything in one place uh, in the cloud, nice and safely. Also, you can do this with applications with uh, MSIX AppAttach. So this... Um, this, this uh, keeps you away from installing the software on your on your uh, cloud device. So it, it just attaches um, a, um, a virtual hard disk that contains the application. So um, you you definitely um, reduce the the risk of data loss. And last but not least, you uh, as you all know. Uh, traditional RDS infrastructures are really um, cost expensive, complex. Uh, it's, it's difficult to plan them, uh, to maintain, and to license them. So anybody who licenses uh, RDS infrastructure knows what I'm talking about. It's really <laughs> not that easy. So um, using a SaaS service or a PaaS service like um, Windows Virtual Desktop, um, Let's you uh, brings you um, the the benefit of, uh, of of yeah of the cloud services in, in that form that it brings you everything that you need to build up by yourself in, in just one service that you don't have to pay for. Uh, so there is the gateway, the broker, load balancer, diagnostics, and the management. Um, this this um, uh, these services are um, completely free for all users. So what you have to pay for is just the Microsoft 365 license. And you have to pay for the infrastructure that's running in Azure. Everything else um, around this, the complete service, is, is free by itself, so you don't have to pay for that. Then, one of the really important features uh, that Windows Virtual Desktop brings is um, you can use the multi-factor, uh, sorry, not the multi-factor, but the multi-session uh, Windows 10 images. So, if you look at the, the monitoring, um, in the in the upper uh, picture, uh, you can see the utilization of the resources is really not that good um, for for every um, user that's, that's using the environment. So um, normally uh, a user is just using about twenty percent of of the the resources that are um, dedicated to him. So you lose a lot of that, and um, as everybody knows in Azure. You lose money if you don't use the resources uh, really like they uh, like 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 they are supposed to be used, because uh, if you use a resource, if you just book the resource, it's it doesn't matter if you really um, use it up to 80, 90 percent, um, or just to 10 percent, they cost the same. So what you want to do is you want to use um, everything that you pay for, and that is. Uh, been done by using the multi-session ones. Just put a few users on there so you can see the utilization is much better um, on the lower right picture here. Um, also a nice feature is you can use host pools for different departments like a creative, finance or HR. So creative ones, more or less, a few of them use uh, CAD software. So they need very um, expensive and um, yeah, uh, expensive machines with uh, GPUs inside. Um, and um, if you want to do this with a, um, an RDS server, then every user has to, um, yeah, has to use this, uh, this, this environment and you have to, or you have to pay um, a big um, price for, um, or have a big investment for just a platform for a few users. So in Azure, you can, you can just use a host pool for these ones and just um, add the users that are supposed to work with this. So also the finance ones and the HR ones um, may have different workloads. So you can separate these ones and just use uh, the resources that you have for for the for the guys that really need um, what they need the resources for what they do. So how can I also help to build up one of these nice WBD solutions? 
well, also is inventing uh, this um, automation one click solutions. Um, because we found out there's um, a big need for an easy deployment of complex workloads like WVDs. So WVD uh, contains a lot of services that need to put together. And um, it's, it's really hard to achieve that if you have no experience or you have no time or um, no capabilities to, to, to test everything out. So um, what we did, we built the service uh, under our also Cloud Marketplace um, and um, put this our, under our uh, also managed services. And uh, so um, we make use of our um, Azure Automation also IP. So we built a complete package for you. Um, and you just have to, to click this solution and um, enter a few values um, and the, then you are ready to go. So how does it look like um, if you if you want to deploy that? So what you can see is uh, Windows Virtual Desktop is a service that you can add to your marketplace. And then you can just enter um, a few values like the tenant ID, subscription, the um, Azure Active Directory domain you want to deploy to, um, and the workplace or the workload location. Um, and uh, then you can specify the host pool, um, like the pool name, like uh, if you want to have a pooled or um, um, a multi-session solution, um, which machines you want to use, or which workload type uh, you want to go for, for a light one, um, for um, a heavier, um, or maybe you want to use graphics, uh, then you can uh, choose this here. Then you just have to enter the number of users and you're free to go uh, to, um, to deploy everything. So you don't need to choose any VM. You don't need to choose everything else that, that's, that's been deployed in the background. Everything has been done by us. So the next thing um, it deploys is the Windows Virtual Desktop itself, um, the Active Directory, Active Directory domain service, um, the networking part, the host pools that contains the machines that the users access, um, an autoscaling option that you can um, that you can specify when do I need my VMs, when are they being shut down, how many users um, are using uh, which VMs, and so on. Um, then we have this promo check and activation. So if there is a promo, um, you don't have to activate it by yourself. It's automatically automatically um, applied by us, and you can use Azure tagging for um, easier separation of your departments. So what I was talking about earlier, um, you have this different loads and uh, depending on your, your choice, um, it chooses the right machines for your load that you, or for your workload that you work with or users work with. So um, there's, uh, for, as an example, there's uh, Microsoft Medium that's uh, been recommended from Microsoft for Word, Excel users and uh, web browsing and this uses um, a special, uh, special VM that, that con that, that's been dedicated for, for this VM. And um, yeah, you can see um, there's, in this case uh, here, you can see this is dedicated for four users. So you don't, have to, you don't have to take this choice. It's been done by us. So you just have to enter the workload you want to go with and the amount of users and everything else has been done um, in the background. So uh, if we look at deployment itself, um, at the end, it deploys um, a few services like uh, Active Directory Domain Services, the Load Balancer, the Network Security Group, the public IP that uh, you can access the VMs, um, the virtual network uh, stuff like the, the network itself and the interfaces, and also a local analytics workspace that we need for uh, creating the, um, the monitoring and that you can see, uh, that you can use for, um, yeah, for um, for your log files, also a keyboard that that that's, um, secures your your really uh, important passwords. Um, then there is the host pool um, that includes the auto scaling part, um, also the application group uh, where you can put in your applications and add these applications and attach it to the users that need to um, need to use uh, special applications or standard applications. Yeah, it's just your so your choice. Um, which applications um, you um, attach to which user. And also it contains the automation accounts and availability set that makes sure that um, your VMs are available and are running in, uh, 
in different parts of the of the uh, data center and also the the logic app that it really does the job in um in in doing the automation itself so um also, there is the Azure Active Directory part that contains the uh, WVD admin and the uh, administrators uh, and also the scaling service principle. So um, this is just the version one of our WVD um, one-click solution. Um, what's coming next? Well, we add more capabilities that will help um, our resellers uh, to, to automate the deployment even more. So um, the next deployment package will include um, not only Azure Active Directory main service, that's already there, but you can also use Azure uh, Active Directory or Active Directory Classic um, on on-premise or uh, in Azure itself. Also, you can specify the virtual networking part. Um, you can uh, choose um, between the standard uh, images that Microsoft is hosting. Um, it's the ones um, with the um, the current Windows version and uh, Microsoft is also adding uh, something like uh, Office option or Microsoft 365 part or you can go with a custom image that that's really uh, that really comes in handy if you want to deploy your, your custom images that you modify or update by yourself just add it uh, there and you can upload and go with your image so um, it's everything is already prepared from you you just put the image there, it will be uploaded and will be used for the host pool that you want to use it with. Um, also, we use the new auto-scaling feature that's been deployed by Microsoft. Um, Microsoft is currently um, developing uh, an auto-scaling solution. Um, while we are talking, uh, or for the last one and a half year, Microsoft is using uh, an application, or an auto-scaling script um, that, that runs in the background and it's been triggered um, by this uh, logic apps that we saw before. Um, so uh, Microsoft is using an, an, a complete new auto-scaling feature and we integrate that in, in our um, environment too. And also you can um, do resource tagging. So that means that you can uh, tag every resource you want uh, in, in included, not uh, just only the host pool, but you can, uh, you can tag every resource and um, flag it to one of the departments. So um, we also have this Windows Virtual Desktop trial. And this is a very simple and cost-free way to test the um, Windows Virtual Desktop capabilities um, uh, that's been hosted by us. So you can use this um, as a self-education tool to get a first look and feel. How is that working? How does it look like? Is this something that may be interesting for me um, or for my customers? And you can also use it as a sales tool um, to demonstrate the environment to the end customer. So if the customer likes the, uh, the look and feel and uh, you can for sure brand this with your own logos and images, whatever you want, um, you can you can just um, use this for, for, for showing what it's, what it's capable of. So uh, what is included in the trial environment? So there's um, also an Office 365 user um, and that is licensed with Microsoft 365 Business Premium. Um, also, you have access to the application and desktop virtual, um, virtualization experience. That's the VM itself uh, that you can access. So this is the, um, the Windows Virtual Desktop itself. Also, we have um, a really nice reporting feature. So um, this is um, a monitoring um, for your complete environment. So you get detailed information about the VM statistics, um, about the agent uh, health status um, of the agent that's running on the machines, and about session details like um, which sessions are up, how many users are connected, and so on. So there's uh, a broad overview of, of, of everything that, that's really important for you. So if you think this is uh, really something that, that might be interesting for you or for your customers, um, just contact your local teams and you can just use this, this trial. Uh, try that out. I think it's, it's really nice uh, tool. To, to get a feeling about uh, what's, uh, what is possible and, and how, uh, how things are working.
and um, just use the trial, try it out. Uh, I think uh, even after Corona, um, the way we are working is, is, is changing and a lot of us will, will stay um, at home and work from home. So this is a really good solution and um, an option um, to, yeah, to do business um, with, this, with, the, with the cloud service and uh, just try it out um, and make use of that. So uh, I think this is really nice solutions and um, there's also other solutions um, that's more or less one click um, that will come up in the near future. So, so stay tuned and I uh, uh, hope you're happy with, uh, with the solution. So thank you very much and take care.